and Kathleen was on her way to her first day of senior year, Friday the 13th, and became very ill, um, called my mom who picked her up and then ended up rushing her to the ER. Kathleen Murphy ended up being diagnosed with having a brain tumor. She was transferred to a hospital in Memphis for brain surgery. The surgeon beforehand did not anticipate that he was gonna be able to remove all that he was able to remove. And so we believe that is the power of prayer and, um, so we are rejoicing in that, but we've still got, you know, a long road here. Her sister, Tassie Lee Murphy, says it was completely unexpected. She has been a healthy girl and is 17 years old, an athlete, um, so many talents and skills. And, and so this was definitely a shock. Um, and there aren't really words to to put to what we're all feeling right now. Kathleen is recovering in the ICU, awaiting biopsy results to see if the tumor is completely gone. She went to Ridgefield Christian here in Jonesboro most of her life. The family recently made the move to Springdale, Arkansas, but the community still feels the pain of this tragedy, holding a prayer walk in her honor. From here, we just are asking that people stay in this fight with us. Just. We, we have seen a huge victory with this surgery going better than what we anticipated. And, and so we're happy about that and so thankful. And we believe that's because of the power of prayer. So we need that continued prayer throughout. We're not done fighting this time. The Murphy family says they just want as many people praying for Kathleen as possible. They encourage people to follow the Pray for Cat Facebook page for updates. Reporting in Jonesboro, Hannah Campbell for Region 8 News.